My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, June 16, it is a great pleasure to meet you through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. Take with me from the book of Psalm 103:13, as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. My dear brothers and sisters, a father may be stern or strict with his child. He gets angry with his child and may beat his child with his cane or stick. Why is the father beating the child? The child should be corrected when necessary and should not be beaten by the people in society by doing wrong deeds or involving themselves in unwanted issues. So the father beats the child as a form of correction. His child should not be beaten by the worldly people in society. In order to prevent their child from being punished by society, the father sometimes beats his child to correct him so that he might live a better life. Nowadays, many children don't like to be corrected by their father. The Bible says, Proverbs 13:24 states, He that spares his rod hates his son, but he that loves him disciplines him promptly. So we see that a father who loves his child will punish him, but a father who does not care for his child will just go unnoticed. It may be painful at present, but in the future, it will be a blessing to him. So in case a father has conditioned you for any reason, or for abusing you, that he has not come on time, or for not allowing him to enter his house and making him stand outside the house for a while, if you are angry with your father, you must understand that his love cannot be measured. It is inexpressible. Only when you take the position of a father will you be able to understand the father's love. He not only carries the child but bears all the burden of his child. He carries all their needs. He goes out to do extra work to earn more money to meet the needs of his child. He does extra work. He works in the morning, and again, he drives the auto at night to make more money in order to meet the needs of his children. This is how the father carries himself. But many children do not understand the heart and love of their fathers. Because he corrects them and because he is very strict with them. Only the Father shapes you into a good personality and gives you honor in society. There is another verse that says, As a father carries his son upon his shoulder, God will carry you. The mother will carry her child on her hip. While the father will carry his child on his shoulder. The child will have a happy feeling while the father holds the child on his shoulder. The child feels he is at the top of everyone. And enjoys being carried by his father. If you have faith while your father holds you on his shoulder, how much more faith can you have when the Lord carries you on his shoulder? Today, the Lord will do a miracle for you in such a way that you won't lose your faith in him. Dear Lord, we thank you. Lord, on this Father's Day, if there are children who are annoyed with their fathers and therefore are not talking to each other, then I pray that they will reconcile with each other. I pray first for their good relationship and unity. Lord, change these children to understand their father. In the same way, if parents don't understand their children, then I pray that the fathers will make an attempt to understand their children. Lord, I pray you will perform a miracle for them. Lord, change all the fathers today into responsible fathers and make them into loving fathers. Make them healthy fathers. Lord, you have said that you are the father of orphans. So you come down and be a father to them and perform miracles for them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.